Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to access satellite soil moisture active passive data from NASA. So as you know, soil moisture is a critical component of the climate system, but ground-based data are sparse in spatial and temporal coverage. And since these observations are limited, different model-based and satellite-based measurements often serve as alternatives. So open the National Snow and Ice Data Center website and in the search place just search for soil moisture. In the new page you can filter parameters. Okay, I just select soil moisture and go down because I'm just interested in SMAP data. I just filter the sensors by SMAP. And now I have different uh, SMAP data. As you know, uh, SMAP soil moisture data are available in four levels from L1 to L4 uh, with different formats, uh, GeoTIFF and HDF and any much more formats. So I'm interested in this map level four. So I scroll down and here it is. It's map L4, global three hourly, nine kilometer resolution, both surface and root zone soil moisture database. Open it in the new page. Okay, here you can find some overview of data special resolutions, uh, temporal coverage, uh, temporal resolution, uh, citing information, user guide, technical references, support, and download data. On this page, you can specify the time you are interested in. Let's go with the two uh, first days of March 2020. Two. So there are, uh, because the data are three hourly, there are eight files for each single day. So if you have two days, it is two multiplied by eight plus one, which is 17 files for two days. So as you can see, I have 17 files here. And I also can filter the spatial coverage I, you can either import any polygon in shapefile format uh, or you can just draw a box or a polygon here. So if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can use your mouse scroll wheel to zoom in. Let's say I'm interested in finding soil moisture data for California. So I draw a bigger box around California to make sure that I have covered all the area. So for this area, for these two selected day, I have 17 files selected. Scroll down. You can either order your files and, and download the zip files. Or if you are not interested in this format, because if you go to next uh, to previous page, you can see that these data are in HDF5 format. What if you are interested in different formats, like in GeoTIFF, because that's the type of data I can work with easily. So if you're interested in other formats, click on other access option, and from different options you have here, go to Earth's data search. So here the type of data are selected because uh, like they have already specified a SMAP L4, three hourly, nine kilometer data. You have to specify the start and end date again. So let's go with those two days from first to the second day of March, 2020. So again, I will have 17 files. Um, the entire uh, area has been selected for now. If you want to select a specific area, just you can draw a box again. So let's go with California. Okay. 
I just draw a box around California border. Okay, now you can download data for this box and this temporal um, coverage from the first day of March 2020 to the second day of March 2020. Uh, click on download all and on the next page you can specify the format for the files you are interested to download click on customize scroll down here you enter the email you want uh, to, to receive the link by and here you can select different formats so for me it's geotiff go down there are different type of data here so the first one is file main group that include latitude longitude and that type of information for your data i'm not interested in them so i just uncheck them from the second menu i am just interested in uh, surface soil moisture so i just click that one if you are interested in roots on soil moisture as well you can click both of them so they will give you the information for both surface and roots on soil moisture done and then download data Okay, so it will bring you to a new page. For now, there is 0%. Uh, uh, the status is in progress. Uh, once you, the data you were interested in are uh, ready to download, the page would be like this one. Okay, so uh, it takes uh, like one two hours uh, for the files to get ready once they are ready so you can see that it says uh, the status complete and here I have the links that I can click on and download the data I'm interested in okay thank you guys for watching if you liked it please subscribe my channel uh, ask any question about GIS in the comments or down, how to download different type of satellite data. I will answer your question in the comment section. If I need more, if it needs more consideration, I will make a video based on your question, um, and I will share that on the uh, in the channel. Uh, have a wonderful day. Bye.